Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of WordPress Management TV. In this episode, we're going to show you how to install the Genesis framework and a child theme. In this video, I'm starting with a clean install of WordPress. I've already gone in and removed a lot of the stock widgets that came with the, with the WordPress installation. So if I go to widgets right now, you'll see that my widget areas are empty. And I'm just doing that to make the install a little bit cleaner when we go to the framework and the child theme. If I jump over here to the website, you'll see I, I set up the site name, site title, site description. We have the standard uh, WordPress post that comes with the new installation. It's got one comment in here, um, really just a clean install running the stock 2016 theme and we haven't done anything else. So jumping back over here to the dashboard, I'm gonna go to Appearance Themes to get started. And you'll see there are three themes available right now with WordPress install 2014, 15, and 16. I'm gonna come up here to Add New. And the first thing I wanna do to install the Genesis framework is to actually install Genesis. Um, so I'm gonna go to Upload a Theme, and I'm gonna go to Choose File. I have the Genesis theme itself and the child theme that we're going to be installing today. I'm going to be installing the altitude theme, but this applies to any Genesis child theme. First thing I want to do is install the Genesis framework. And I'm going to come down here to open. Now it populates in here the Genesis framework, and I'm using the zip file that I downloaded from Studio Press. I'm going to click install. Pretty straightforward. WordPress is going to upload, and then I'm going to be shown this screen that basically just tells me uh, it's installed the theme from the Genesis zip file. It's unpacked, everything was installed successfully. That's the line that I really want to pay attention to. Now I can either see a live preview of the site, I can activate this theme, or I can return to the theme page. Now I'm going to go ahead and activate this just so you could see what the stock Genesis theme looks like. Um, if you're doing a child theme installation, you do not need to activate at this time. You could just go to the return themes page. So I'm going to click activate. And now it, it comes back here. It shows me the active theme is Genesis. If I came over here to the website and I refresh, you'll see this is now the Genesis framework installed on the website. And if you like this look and this is what you're going for, you can stop here and start working on setting up everything. If you're installing a child theme, you can come back to the Manage Themes area in the WordPress dashboard. I'm going to click Add New Theme. Again, upload a theme. And I'm going to choose a file off of my computer. And again, we're using the Altitude theme here just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to say Altitude, select that zip file, hit Open, Install Now. And again, it's going to upload that zip file to our server. And we should see that screen in just a few seconds, letting us know if it installed successfully. Okay, so our theme has installed successfully, as you can see here. Um, it says the parent theme Genesis 2 uh, is currently installed. And so I can activate this theme right now, and everything will be okay. If I didn't have the Genesis framework installed first, this would say the parent theme is missing and it would not allow you to activate your child theme at this time. So if I click activate here, now you can see our active theme is Altitude Pro, and if I come up here and refresh the screen, everything's changed, it's running Altitude Pro. Now, first look, this does not look like the Altitude demo website that we see on Studio Press. If you wanna set up your themes to ju look just like the theme demo, we have more videos showing you how to do those. I'm trying to keep each one of these tutorial videos short. So if you like that format, let me know in the comments below. If you're looking for a little bit more, uh, tell me that also. We really appreciate you watching this video. Thanks again. If you like this video, do us a favor and click the th thumbs up down below. If you have any other questions about WordPress, leave those in the comments as well. We'll be happy to answer as many of those questions as we can. And we may also possibly create a video with your question. All right, thanks again for watching. We appreciate your time.